us take the next question on torsion. I am marking this question. Let's read what is given here. A hollow shaft having inside diameter 60% of its outer diameter is to replace a solid shaft transmitting the same power at the same speed. Full stop. Calculate the percentage saving in material if the material is also same. As we are reading into this question, it is very much clear that this question is a concept based question. Means here we are replacing solid shaft with hollow shaft. And when we are replacing this, as we know in hollow shaft the material would be less. So we have to give them how much is the percentage saving in the material. So now based on this question, first let us write the data. Now, it is mentioned a hollow shaft having inside diameter 60% of its outer diameter. I'll say that inside diameter of the hollow shaft is small d. It is 60% of outside diameter. So here it is 0 0.6 times of capital D. Is to replace a solid shaft. This hollow shaft will replace the solid shaft transmitting same power. So here I'll denote power of solid shaft is same as power of hollow shaft. Now transmitting the same power at the same speed, speed is also same. RPM for solid is same as RPM for hollow. As power and speed they are same. In that shaft, the torque also remains same. So here I have torque in solid shaft is equal to the torque in hollow shaft. Both are same. Now calculate the percentage saving in material. Here we have to get how much is the percentage saving in material. This is the question. If material is same and the material is same, it means shear stress value will be same for solid as well as for hollow. Now, from the question, it is clear that Fs is there. It means whenever we have shear stress, we need to use strength criteria. So I'll solve this problem starting with the strength criteria. I'll say that based on strength criteria, the relation is T by J is equal to Fs by R. Now I'll keep T and Fs on one side that is I'll shift polar moment of inertia j onto the other side. Now this T and Fs we have seen in the data that the torque in solid shaft is same as torque in hollow shaft and even the shear stress value are same. So if T by Fs value is same for solid shaft and hollow shaft even j upon r value will remain same. So here I will be saying that equating solid and hollow shaft. So here I am equating the solid and hollow shaft. For solid shaft I will write down J by R for solid. It is equal to J by R for hollow. These two values of J by R are same because T upon Fs ratio will be same since torque transmitted is same for whole solid and hollow and even the shear stress value is same. Now after this J for solid shaft I will know the formula it is pi by 32 capital D raised to 4 divided by the radius I will write it as D by 2 
and since it is solid shaft i'll write with suffix s suffix s is equal to j for hollow here i'll write this, this as pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 minus simply small d raised to 4 divided by r which is equal to d by 2 next from this as i can see pi by 32 pi by 32 will cancel from both the sides 2 and 2 will get cancelled here i have d suffix s d suffix s so it, this becomes d suffix s cube here i have capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 upon capital d so therefore i'll say that the diameter of solid shaft cube is equal to capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 upon capital d next in the question they have given us the relation for hollow shaft that is internal diameter of hollow shaft is 0 0.6 times of external diameter so i'll say that this is equal to 0 0.6 times of capital d this is given so therefore d suffix s cube will be equal to here i have d raised to 4 minus 0 0.6 d raised to 4 so and divided by d if i simplify i'll get this as 0 0.87 capital d raised to 4 it means this is the outer diameter of solid shaft this is the outer diameter of hollow shaft so here i have got the relation i am drawing the two shafts the cross section now from this i would be getting the relation here this d raised to 4 if i simplify this would be becoming d raised to cube d raised to the power 3 because d and d will get cancelled so finally i have the relation diameter of solid shaft is equal to i would be taking cube root of 0 0.87 and that gives me the answer as 0 0.96 times of capital d so here i have the relation the relation between diameter of solid shaft and outer diameter of hollow shaft next here the question is to find percentage saving in material percentage saving in material can be found out by using the formula since percentage saving in material that will be equal to area of solid shaft because this will be more minus area of hollow shaft it would be less and comparing it with the solid shaft now in the area formula here i have pi by 4 ds square minus pi by 4 capital d square minus small d square divide this by pi by 4 d suffix s square as i can see from the numerator i can take pi by 4 common from the denominator i have pi by 4 so pi by 4 will get cancelled from all sides next instead of d suffix s i will put the value as 0 0.96 times of capital d square i have put the value and i'll call this as equation number a so i have put ds is equal to 0 0.96 times of d from equation a so here i have d square minus instead of small d i can write down it is 0 0.6 times of capital d because it is given in the question this whole term would be divided by ds square that is 0 0.96 times of capital D square I'll say that this is from equation number A therefore here throughout I am having D square so I will take D square common cancel it out then only numbers are left when I simplify this I would be getting my answer as 29.83 percent 
means this much is the reduction in weight almost close to 30 percent so if we are shifting from solid shaft to hollow shaft and we are having the same power same speed same material then hollow shaft will be 30 it would be around 30 percent less in weight when you compare it with solid shaft and that is why we prefer a hollow shaft over solid shaft because the weight is less so the power required to drive that shaft would also be low and it would be light in weight the cost also would be reduced with this we complete the question